technology has become a part of our everyday lives. In fact, I bet many of you are watching this on a smartphone or tablet. As an institution of higher education, it is vitally important that we all embrace technology and find ways to utilize it to enhance our students' learning experience. That's why we created this award, to recognize those who have gone above and beyond to creatively and effectively implement technology in their classrooms. I want to encourage all faculty to find ways to help their students make the most of technology so that they can be successful not only in the classroom, but also after they enter the workforce. And here are the nominees. I am Brooke Elliott. I am an LXMO clinical coordinator, and what I actually do is I place students out clinically so they can get real practical application experience for limited radiography. I teach a lot of radiology classes, and I use Panopto. What we do is we go into the classroom, we plug up a microphone, and we record our lecture. That includes video and audio, and that allows us to actually be able to take that video and the students play it back at their convenience. Hi, my name is Richard Rout. I'm from Sullivan Louisville campus. Uh, I'm the department chair of finance. I've been here for about 17 years. Uh, I make short videos, usually five to seven minutes long. I've made probably over 500 of them. I use them in class and for my online classes. So I usually embed about 40 videos per class. My ultimate goal is to try to bridge the gap so that I can make the online student feel more on campus and then the campus student has a little bit of access to things that are online. So I'm trying to bridge the gap and bring, the, bring them together, if you will. I'm Lana Watson. I am one of the um, instructors at Spencerian College in Louisville, Kentucky. I teach nursing, primarily med search, and critical care classes. I use Edmodo because it looks like Facebook, and we can I can share videos that help students um, see concepts, and I can use it for quizzing, meaning I can put quizzes out there and I can give them feedback on their quizzes whenever needed. My name is Julie Owens and I am a professor of radiology at Spencerian Louisville and I have been here for 11 years. One of my favorite technologies is Turning Points. It's a clicker game and it's an interactive engaging tool used for students with remote control and PowerPoints. So we can ask them questions, they can answer accordingly on the remote controls. It engages them, it makes learning fun, um, it seems to help retain information and it, again it's enjoyable. My name is John Huglin. I'm a teacher in the Computer Network Administration, Computer Network Security and Forensics program on the Sullivan College of Technology and Design campus. I've been here for a little over 15 years. I use a number of things in the classroom to kind of go paperless with my classroom. Been doing that for about five or seven years, something like that. I use NGRADE, which is an electronic uh, grade book. Allows me to enter grades in the grade book and students to gain access that to that from, from anywhere all the time. Also their homework and things of that nature. Also use a technology called thatquiz.org website uh, where I put homework and tests and students can gain access to that from anywhere they're at. Um, automatically grades their homework and gives them immediate feedback as well. I also use YouTube to create technical videos. My name is Amber Can. I am the director of the Drug Information Center at the College of Pharmacy, and I'm also an assistant professor. ExamSoft is an online administration software suite of um, exams and assessments. So we use that entirely through the College of Pharmacy, every class and every exam that is administered in the College of Pharmacy. We, before I arrived, we were all pen and paper. So all of our exams were graded manually. Uh, there wasn't a lot of reporting that we could get out of those, and the students really didn't find that useful for their feedback. Uh, we have been using it for two years very successfully. My name is Tom Merrick. I uh, teach math at the Lexington campus of Sullivan University, and I've uh, been a full-time professor for about five years now. Well, the, the main technology that I've adopted in the classroom is social media, specifically Twitter. I created a Twitter account for um, just for all of my classes, 
So uh, at the end of every class, what I'll do is um, post the homework assignment to that site so that any of my students that if they had to leave early or if they can't make it to class, they can check and see what the homework was. And I'll also post interesting math articles that I found online, um, as well as I can interact with any students who have their own Twitter accounts. Like I've had students ask um, when our next test is, and um, I can answer those type of quick questions uh, with relative ease. My name is Tani Renfro and I work at the Spencerian main campus in Louisville. Um, I teach psychology primarily, college success strategies, and um, I've been here approximately almost 18 years. It'll be 18 in February. Uh, the technology that I have implemented in, in one of my classes is integrating a remote classroom of students in Oldham County with my in-house students here on campus and using a variety of technologies, primarily GoToMeeting.com, to be able to have those students see me here and the class here, as well as see the PowerPoints, the presentations, the video, and then I can see them as well. So it's like taking a digital group and bringing them into the classroom live. So uh, I just, don't be afraid. You know, try it if it doesn't work for you. There were some things I tried in this integrated class that failed miserably but then I scrapped it and tried something different. So don't be afraid to try something new.